Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. It was a dark and stormy night as we decided to do some gray science today. Uh, first of all, let me apologize for the sound snafu in the last episode that was completely unintended. I'm having some issues with my rendering program and hopefully it will be fixed soon. But until then, we will just try to do the best we can. Um, anyway, I we're going to build grade science today and hopefully blue science. And I want to introduce you to a, um, a calculator program which is showing up in the upper left hand corner of the screen here. And hopefully, yes, you can see my cursor. Great. Uh, this is kirkmcdonald.github.io slash calc.html. I don't think you even need the calc.html, but this is a program that is used for calculating the various um, items that you want to produce and their production speed. So for example, we want to do uh, factories of, let's say we want to do well, okay, science. Every time I put my cursor over there, it chooses it. But uh, military science, we could do blue science, you know, white science, and it changes based on what you pick. Um, I'm not putting blue because it's actually called chemical science and I couldn't remember the name of it. But we could do military science first, and that's what we're going to do first. Um, and then you select either how many factories you want to use or how many items per minute. Now this is tuned for 60 items per minute. And you can set all these settings. First of all, what you need to do is use the recipe set vanilla uh, 0 0.17 um or whatever version you are currently on if you're on 0 0.16 recipes are different so make sure you choose that one instead but look at the settings and see what you want to do we're going to go with the now rate precision precision is basically how many decimal numbers uh there are we're going to display rates as items per minute for now and then we have minimum assembling machine level now what i'm going to do is because it calculates literally items per minute, it's not items per cycle. And I want to do items per cycle instead of per minute. Uh, so we're going to just use the assembling machine one, which is what we calculated the red and green science. Uh, let me just walk these guys. You can see them on the our right portion of the screen. We have these set to a certain amount per, per second. But as long as we have all of the machines are the same, it should be fine. Uh, and then you can choose preferred furnace level, fuel level, all kinds of stuff because it allows you to, um, and modules as well, it really allows you to look at every single recipe and scale it up the way you want to do it, like here with the modules and stuff like that. We're not going to use modules yet. We're going to do that later in the playthrough, but we're going to look at the component things and it shows you when you mouse over. I love this website. It's absolutely fabulous. Um, we're going to be making uh, two military science packs with each craft. It takes 10 seconds to craft. And then uh, we need one piercing round magazine, one grenade, and two stone walls. Uh, and then so you can find these guys um, as they are kind of made. So like this one tells you how many firearm magazines and steel plates and copper and all of the things that are involved in each of these processes. So we're going to just look at the top level processes right now of military science. Okay, so we're going to build the military science with various things. First of all, we're going to start off with the piercing rounds, which we know takes one firearm magazine and the rest is made on the bus. So the steel and copper is made on the bus, but we're going to start with the um, the regular firearm magazines. And it tells us we need uh, one factory making these and then three factories making these. That tells me I can just put them all in one line over here in, uh, in Factorio land and, um, and then have them output onto a belt. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So these guys take, okay, steel and copper. These guys just need iron plates. So we need, let's see, three different items coming in uh, and that should be okay. So let me just take this out of the way for now. There we go. And just go back to um, Factorio. Here we are. Okay. So I want to grab a machine. Now we're going to use blue machines uh, because like I said, it doesn't matter what one that you're using as long as you're consistent with stuff. So this is the first opportunity to get um, the, what do you call it? Iron? What is that stuff? Who knows? <laughs> it's iron. Yes. Amazing that. Uh-huh. Oh, wait. We don't need quite this much. I don't think we only actually need one assembling machine to have iron in it. Um, let's see. 
let's see these we know that actually we might want to put this down one instead because the first belt um will be the iron and the second one is going to actually we could do it this way we could just change that a little bit and get that organized from its own universe or we could put it up one yeah we'll do it this way this one is going to be steel and copper okay not usually my three between but it's okay usually align it with like the first machine of a of an assembly here so pick this and we're gonna go with um actually we could be kind of sneaky and do this sort of thing we're gonna make ammo here um there we go firearm magazines and pick this and output there and therefore the next machines we're gonna need three of them one two three for these guys piercing rounds boom all right and then we will take in probably we only need the regular inserters for these we do not need the ultra fancy fancy blue ones the ones with the blue paint job uh okay let's put this here and here excellent so these need copper and steel let's go and grab that from the bus i really need to get like extensive lighting for this place let's see there we are um this one goes there there okay and then this one is gonna go There we are connecting this up i'm trying to stay zoomed in so it, like we have more light but yeah the lighting is not great on the bus and i guess i should put maybe i could go and just run a power pole through the center and then just put lights along a part of the yeah let's go and do that let's do it why not uh we'll take the large uh big electric poles and run them this way just through the center of the bus Wait, is it running through the center of the bus? Oh no, of course not. Oh no. <laughs> because it's like, no, we decided not to. Uh-huh. The good thing is, is that everything here has already been finished in terms of... Uh... Uh, taking stuff off the bus. So this should be good. If we need more power poles, we can do that. But at least it will provide us a little bit of light, which will be nice. There we are. Very, very nice. Okay, excellent. Boom. Okay, so that's going to give us a little bit of light there. And we can put another light over here when we are getting to that. Okay, so this is one product that is needed. We also need grenades and we need the other thingy majingies. Okay, we'll put a the output thing here. And a power pole, of course. There they go. These yeah, they 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 take three seconds to make, so there's more than enough time for the um, long inserters to grab the copper and the steel okay great that's being made Let, let's go and look again oopsie there sorry about that uh look at the next item which is grenades so we're gonna need eight grenade makers and let's look at the walls we only need one wall maker so i think we probably are gonna put that on the opposite side of the um the armor piercing ammo um yeah that sounds about right Okay, and then we'll put the grenades by themselves, I think. That will be fine. I like to have kind of ish symmetrical lines. Okay, so let's go back to this and we'll get our wall maker. We could even put this in the same line to save space if we wanted to. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's go ahead and do that. Um, and we're going to put this as a... Hmm, what's the best way to do this? I guess the best way is probably to do this thing like that 
Okay. Um, and that way that'll save us a little bit of room as well. Now we're going to need a little bit of throughput here. So, okay, let's just try to keep this in line with the rest of the world here. No, I probably should do this. It's an interesting concept of like what belts take precedence. And I try to be quite specific in how I design that for each individual factory. So um, like these, I feel like these are the most important. Uh, though you could always do something like all vertical lines take precedence, like off the bus. That's what I try to do. Um, except in the case like, you know, this would be too tiny of a, of a change. Though you could do this, I guess. If you wanted to do for the gears, that would be okay. I don't know. But um, that's also part of the things that keeps uh, factories nice and neat and tidy is getting that organized. Okay, let's go here um, and get these guys connected along. We need to have stone bricks to make the walls. That's what we're looking for now. There we go. And probably this doesn't need to go. Oh, no, it will go further on the bus because we need furnaces for something, I think. All right. So now this guy, we're going to just have this belt drive straight into here and use a fast inserter to grab stuff. Okay. We'll put that power pole there. This is going to make walls and those are going to go. And so if you're new to the game, just note that um, inserters always place on the part of the belt that's opposite to them. I think I might have mentioned this in a video before, actually. Um, so in this case, we're putting it on the belt and then it's going to drop off onto the near side of the belt so that we can have two items on this belt. Now then, the next item is going to be the grenades. So we'll look again at that, which is right here. Um, and we see that we need eight machines to make this. And we need stuff. We need iron plates and coal. Ooh, do we have coal on the bus? I'm going to have to check for that. Uh, anyway, let's go back and we're going to need stuff for this. Now, do we need a half a belt each? How much do we need? Oh, now this is a good question. Okay. So we need iron plates. We need, is that half a belt? Literally? No, it can't be a half a belt. We can't need a full half a belt of this. And 0.4 of coal. Well, we might. I don't know. Um, but for eight factories, that's quite a lot of stuff. So in any case, 0.5 plus 0.4 is one full belt. So that means we can use a half a belt each here. I was wanting to use this program to see like how much do we actually need. But in the case, since we are using the blue level machines, I think we should do a belt each of those. So we'll have one each for iron and coal coming in. I think I will also start to shimmy this uh, stuff to the left here. Um, all right, there we go. And see if we have coal on the bus. I'm not actually sure. Okay, let's just output priority to the right. There we go. All right, this is going well. Yay. All right, take this over. I should just have a copy paste thing, I think for this, like a copy this thing and do like this uh, and that and find out if we have any coal on the bus. I don't think we do. No, I don't think we do at all. No. Okay. So Gonna have to ask the coal miners to shove that on a bit, I think. Maybe we'll take it from here and just take it downward. Or we could take it from here and take it downward as well. That's another option. Um, that might be easier. Let's see. That is so odd. It looked like a different thing because of the shadow. Okay. Anyway, uh, random thought there. Um, yeah, I think maybe we'll take it from down here because this doesn't actually use a lot of coal, this uh, structure here. So we can just take it to the left and put it right next to the, um, this part here. 
next to the wall belt, since that is not used yet. Okay, here we go. Ah yes, we didn't get this completely done yet either. I really should fix that. But it was like, no, I don't want to take the bots all the way over there. And I really just want to have my own personal suit of power armor to get things going. Okay, let's walk down this way. Oh, the bots, did you see that? They changed it. They're like, nope, no, nope, we're not going there. Mm-mm, not a thing. It's not happening. Okay, let's go here and that up there. Good. Very nice. I guess I'll go ahead and just join these myself because there's no robo port coverage down here yet. Uh, which I think I should just make because I would really like them to just copy the belt lines. There we go. Let's just copy the belt lines here. Ah, okay. Add one there. Copy like this. Yay. No. Shift click, shift click. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, we had that issue here. Ah, okay. There we go. That's better. Is this both going in the right direction? Yes, it is. Okay, great. Let's see if we can just place this down some more. Just keep the bus going. And we missed one spot here, but it should be fine. Just make sure that there are no undergroundies that are interfering with any of this. Let's go ahead and put down a roboport near here so we can get some of this um, made and working. Just put in a power pole there. Nice. Okay, great. So they're going to place that so we don't have to. Now then, we went back to our thing. We need eight of these, so we'll just do two at a time. We're just going to rely on the um, robots to place these guys down. So we need ten coal and five iron plates. I think think we can get away with yellow inserters. They're actually more power efficient, so it's kind of good to be able to use those if we can. So let's see if we can do this or not. And here's going to be the output. Let's see if they're if it's fast enough. Oh yes, more than fast enough. It puts in extra. Yeah, yeah, that's plenty. So then uh, let's go ahead and copy the, paste the recipe, copy the, this area, just the part that needs to be copied. So two, four, six, and eight. Great. Can trim the belt at the end. Very nice. All right. And then this one can spin back around, essentially. And these guys, this is going to go down here and join up there so that we can finally make the gray science. Let's go take this here. All right. I didn't want to disrupt those lines by doing undergroundy, undergroundy. So this is going to be just fine. Now, going back to our uh, window here, we need 10 assemblers for gray science. So I want to do that real quick. So again, we're going to make um, two by two. I find it always easy to do them in pairs. Plus a power pole, like if you do one by one, you don't need a power pole every single machine. So if you do it this way, it saves on power poles, which is kind of nice. So we're going to do this, this. And notice on this one, I'm, s I'm not picking this one off the curve. Uh, sometimes the curves go too fast for inserters to, to pick off them, especially if they're red uh, belt. So we just want to keep it a little bit uh, easier for them. So take care of the way you place your inserters. Okay. All right. So there we go. We are going to make gray science over here. This is great. Yay. Okay. And then get this place down here. 
And then again, we're going to copy and paste the entire thing until we have 10. So 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Nice. Oh, I forgot the other belt. That was my bad. Let's put that in here as well. Nice. Okay. Well then, we've got it going. Yay. Uh, and I'm going to put in select lights here and there. So we have a little bit of uh, lighting going on. Put one out here. And now we can start to tackle blue science. I think we should have enough time to do that, I hope. But let's go ahead and look at it. Go back here and change it to blue science. And then after this, we're going to build the labs. But let's see what we need here for stuff we need wow 24 machines this is going to be a massive array i'm not sure if we'll have time to build all of it but we actually are no we i think we will because we only need to build engines we already have red circuits being made elsewhere we already have solid fuel being made elsewhere so this is quite good all right let us go then and go back to our window first of all we need to make 24 blue machines and we're going to put these opposite the gray machines because it's handy for us um, I like to do it this way. I like to do two uh, science types per belt, as in the red and green over there. So we're just going to do kind of the same thing as we did over there. Let's get blue science here. And again, it requires three different items to be made. So we'll just kind of like build it in, in a mirror kind of a way. Come on, thing. Give us light. Thank you. All right. Again, engines, uh, advanced circuits, and solid fuel. And we, I think we just need... Oh no, we need two engine units, but they take 24 seconds to craft. So <laughs> one yellow um, inserter is just fine, plus the um, the red ones as well. Okay, great. So I think if we put, if we skip one from the middle there, do this, we're going to have a better power pole layout there. So this is what we need. We need wow, 24 of them. Holy fuzzy cats. Uh, so let's pick out this here. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. And then I'm going to copy the entire thing again from here. And twenty-four. Boom. Now then, you've noticed we've gone out of construction range. So I want to add another um, RoboPort out here. It does not have to be connected with the red with the orange square basically i just want to be able to construct stuff with this guy and repair stuff if needed so we're going to add this that way so that the bots can access this area easily now then i we can go ahead and grab the other items from the bus that are needed wow we're actually oh we ran out of path oh no <laughs> let's go and grab some more pathing here and we can drop off the uh copper here and oh all the solid fuel no i'll drop these solid fuel off over here oh no okay and so that's what happens when you forget to put the power pole in the blueprint uh-huh <laughs> this is not ideal it's like no uh ah and then we also have this issue as well of like the power pole was on the other side and now it's not so that was kind of silly of me. You get extra points if you notice that before I did. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Next thing is... Alrighty, righty. I was talking about something. Um, we had stuff and things and more stuff. Ah, yes. The path. That's right. Um, use the numpad plus and minus to do the path. There we go. probably just delete these trees here uh, when our robots get to them I don't really care about right now uh, it's not really relevant all right and we run out very nice all right now then um so the things coming from the bus are going to be red circuits and solid fuel. So we'll go ahead and make a, a belt for those to come in. 
All right, and here we go. We're gonna get all this. We've run out of red circuits, I see, which is not ideal in the least. Oh boy, okay. Oh, whoops. I think we're just gonna use this uh, red thingy to do that. Okay, so solid fuel can come off there. So obviously we're backed up again on, <laughs> on this stuff. Why aren't we getting these things made? Do we not have any in the mall? I'm wondering if that's the case. It might be. Oh, they're not in a red box. No. Oh, oh, but somebody reminded me of a very nice thing that you can do is upgrading all of your chests to provider chests. Now you want to do this very specifically because there are ones where I do have um, things like recycling chests, like in further mall blueprints. But I think all of these are okay. Let's just do them carefully, each one's. That one is fine. These are fine. And the bots should be able to... Like the engines one. I don't know if we actually need to have engines being available like this. I don't know. Oh, we need stones. We can start making some uh, railroad track there. Okay, these I think are good. Let me just turn off alt. There they are. So these are all red ones up here. These do not need to be accessed. These are all red up here. Okay, so it looks like we just did, forgot to do the bottom part of the array. Now, I wonder though why they're not getting any. Oh, oh, we ran out of um, red circuits. We ran out of red circuits. Oh no. The sadness is real. Okay, so what we're going to do... <laughs> oh, bots. Bots, my old friends. You are so silly sometimes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Do I not have any yellow boxes? Really? Do I have any red boxes? No, I have no boxes. No! I actually have to go back to the mall. I was going to quickly plop a red box down, but I have no red boxes. I have nothing. No, no, no. All right, I'm going to put my tanks in storage, some of them anyway. Um, ah, yes, and here's another thing that we can do is start some recycling once we get access to the re, um, to blue chests, requester chests. Okay, so these guys are going to put the tanks out, I think. I hope. Okay, it'll be fine. We'll get there. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, red circuits should come along over here. Now then... The next thing we need to do is do the engines. Um, now this thing tells me that we need, let's go back to the spreadsheet thingy um, or the web page, I should say. It's not a spreadsheet per se. We need 20 factories for these. And those guys need steel plate, gears, and pipes. Now we do have gears made on the bus, so we don't need to make those, but we do need to make the pipes. And it tells me we need two assembling machines to make enough pipes to run these guys now do they do they need iron no so what we're going to do is just have the iron come in for the pipes but that doesn't need to go for these guys so we'll we'll have stuff happening okay it'll be fine all right let's start off with our two machines here that we're going to need to come back let's see we're going to have our belt going this way to get the um the which I would call it the engines going back and we'll get one here and then I think we need two spaces there for the design I'm thinking of we'll label these both pipes so we can get those made and then put in our uh, belt to bring the iron in here All right so we're gonna have two belts going here and inserters one here and one over there and then we're gonna output the pipes down here Okay, that looks reasonable to me. Okay, let's go ahead and add maybe a light down here. Brighten our travels just a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do here is when we're building these engines, we're going to need 
Uh, and let me just, I guess we'll just build the engines for now as well. Mm, okay, get rid of this. And choose engines here. Great. Um, we're just going to need very simple inserters for this. And in simple inserters out as well. Um, let's go with these guys too. Now these guys craft so slowly that there's not going to be any throughput issues with using the slowest inserters. And by using the slowest inserters, you uh, use the least amount of energy. So, all right, we need to also get in our power poles here so that we can get those going. Now, looking back at the website, it looks like I need 20 different factories for this. So let's just copy this and make a row of 20. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. And then we'll copy again. Oopsies. Now that was, did you see what I did there? It didn't, it didn't quite pick up the inserter, so that's why I wanted to do it again. Okay, so that's 10, and then we'll have 20. So the bots should be getting, okay, they are already thinking about this. They're like, okay, KOS, we're ready to work for you. We're going strong. It's fine. Now then, um, so these items, they need three different things. We're making pipes over here, but we also need gears and steel. Now, one of the things that we're doing here is we're using a half a belt. And this is one of the things that I think makes Factorio such a robust and, and interesting game is that you can use each half the belt for different items. So if we hook this up to the iron, for example, let's just do that. Oh, no. Come on, thing. Put this here, get a little bit of shifting going on to the right. All right, so what's going to happen is the iron is going to come down that line and be picked up by these things. The inserters always place stuff on the far side of the belt. Okay, so these guys are going to get picked up here and so such on and so forth. And they're never, ever going to put it on the near side of the belt. So what we can do is use that second lane for one of the products. Now we could put both of them on the other belt, but for the sake of demonstration here, I want to put it on the first belt. So one of the products that we are going to need is gears. So I want to just add that one on the belt. We'll add that over here. Now I'll just stop this here for a moment. Um, or even over here. Um, so what happens is if you do a curved belt, it's going to go on both sides. However, if you tell it, oh no, there's something coming from the other side, it makes this belt straight and therefore it drops onto the belt. Now the devs in uh, 0 0.17 have made the animations so nice that you can actually see it's like, aha, it drops onto the belt uh, and it always goes onto the um, the, the same side uh, as the, the thing is going from. So in this case, we can say, aha, we want it to go on the near side and then just keep this belt in here in perpetuity. So you see, it's only going on the one side and therefore neatly slots into the area with the pipes happening there. Okay, so let's see, can we get some steel going on? Sure, looks good. Oh, this is gonna create an issue with stuff. So I'm just gonna, it's, where's the, the bus looks so weird. It's like so many things. I'm just going to add that curve that way because it's just not completed. So it looks a little bit strange here. That's our three lane one. Oh, this, this bus has gotten so <laughs> So, so, so silly. Anyway, since we don't need a full throughput belt of um, steel, if you don't want extra steel on the bus, you can just uh, do it on a half a belt. So that reduces the amount of product sitting idle. I know that uh, that bothers a lot of people. It doesn't really bother me. I would be happy to have a whole belt of steel there. Um, but, you know, it, it is a slight waste of things. And uh, so you can do that in your own factory if you don't want to have precious products, especially things like blue circuits or red circuits, especially in the middle, the beginning of the game, sitting on the bus like that. All right. I feel so inhibited with such a lack of materials here. In any case, we shall soon get some more materials back on the bus and hopefully some red circuits coming down the line. Thank you so very much for joining me. 
Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.